am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, the fact of the matter is, I've had a request to do a reading on uh, Prince Faza. So let's see uh, what the cards have to say about that. Uh, these uh, readings are always very popular, so I expect that this will be too. I don't really know much about him or, or even his current situation, um, but uh, we'll see what comes out in the card. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? Just subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So, by popular demand, Prince Faza. Let's see what the cards have to say. Um, like I said, I really don't keep up on um, what's going on in that part of the world much at all, sadly. Um, all the previous readings and all the press about this fella seem to be, um, you know, very positive. So I guess he's the crown prince. He's going to be next in line when um, his father uh, leaves the throne for whatever reason. And he seems to be... Uh, progressing up through the ranks of government and I understand he has a new position although I couldn't tell you what it is and someone has said that uh, they think he's going to remarry one of his wives I wanted to say it would be a third marriage or remarrying a third wife I'm not sure but before we start the reading let's have just a moment to get focused with meditation So, Prince Faza. He's got a long name that I don't remember, and I didn't look it up. I thought I would just do this reading completely cold, and we'll see uh, what comes out. So, Prince Faza. Let's, uh, like I usually do, let's get started with just three cards to get in the groove of where he is. I want to find out if he's happy, uh, if he's going to remarry, um, along those lines. So three cards just to get us in the groove with uh, Prince Faza. I don't even know how old he is now. So the first card is, um, oh, the High Priestess. Well, he's he's privileged, he's looked after, he's uh, got a, a light of grace uh, shining on him with this High Priestess card. The next card up then is the five, six, seven, eight of cups, which is interesting. You know, cups are emotion and compassion, heartfelt situations. And the eight of cups is telling me that someone is walking away from something that is very emotionally important to him, but he's walking into a light. Look at that. So these cups here are uh, a mix of full and uh, knocked over completely empty. Some of them have some stuff in them, but this guy is, is having to, he's walked through these doors, in towards the light and away from all this emotional, um, maybe you could say baggage. The last card for where is Prince Faza's head right now is, so this is the Page of Cups, which is uh, appropriate with this reading. So cups, again, e emotional situations. Um, and uh, this page, as a matter of fact, looks like he's either standing in front of or submerged in almost an aquarium. If you look behind him here, you see the fish are swimming up at his shoulder and, and above his head level. Uh, this, so this is obviously a lot of water, which is, means he's just covered in emotion. And, but only with the amount of um, authority of a page. In a page in a royal court, you know, you have the king, he's the top, the queen, the knight who's going to fight for the, the, you know, what he's given uh, to fight for, but the page can only bring a message to the court. And so this is significant of where he is in that government. Even though it may seem like he's moving up through the ranks, his significance is still just that of a page when you consider his ultimate, uh, I don't know if you want to call it goal, but the ultimate uh, situation where he'll end up. So where is his head? He's, he's looked after, he's, he's graced. Um, he is learning how to leave emotionality behind and walk towards service, I think. But even with all this, he still just has, you know, the mere importance of a page considering where his future is going. 
So he's a conflicted, but it looks like he's got, if these cards are correct, then it looks like he's got, uh, he appreciates or understands his position um, as, as being responsible for his country. So let's see, we wanted to, someone asked, is he going to remarry specifically one person? But I don't rem remember who the, they mentioned and I really don't even know this prince's um, marital status. I assumed that he could have several wives if he wanted. So why would you divorce one unless you were gonna make that person you divorced free to go on with their life in some other way, which I don't think they really would be able to anyway. But uh, let's see, so is he going to marry? Let's not say remarry, let's say is he going to marry? And we'll do this in three cards. One, two, three is the, is the prince, crown prince, going to marry? Let's see. Death, it's the end of a cycle. Death is not death, okay? It just means a definite, end of one cycle. Is he going to remarry? I wonder if this means that he may not ever remarry, but I don't know. Let's see what the other cards say. But it's def the definite end of some kind of a cycle. Will he remarry? Or if you were thinking about will he remarry someone that he had married before, this could be saying no. That relationship, is, as far as, as that part of its concern, is done. But uh, So that's two possible interpretations. Uh, end of a cycle. Uh, the next card up is the Five of Wands. Wands are action plans forward movement, but the Five of Wands is like pointless arguing um, that's not going to get resolved probably, and this is exactly what this card shows here. Just no, um, nothing in particular standing out. Is he going to marry again? All these are kind of no cards. The last uh, card we have here is the King of Coins. What's primarily important here is his value. Hmm. I think remarrying, at least for now, is not much in the in, in the cards. Ha! So, yeah, I'm thinking no marrying or remarrying going to happen right now. Um, I wonder how he's going to do in his new uh, position. I don't know if he just takes on a new role that's added to other roles that he's had, or if he vacates one position to move into another position. I'm just not sure how all of that works. Um, but um, let's see how he's going to do with this uh, new position. And he may have been in it for a while already. I'm not really 100% sure. But um, let's see, how is uh, Faza going to do in his new work? One, two, three, Faza. All the new work. How's this going to work out? Two of Swords, making a choice. So, making a choice. And Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And this is a very interesting uh, kind of a, a card to be having when we're talking about this, this part of the world, I think. So, making a choice. His new job. He's shining. It's the star card. He's, he's, he's a star. The last one, again, is the Page of Wands. Actions, plans, forward movement, but he only brings the power of a page. So, that's interesting. So, plans, forward movement. I wonder if a lot of these decisions are, aren't already distilled to a certain point by the time they get to him and then he gets to pick a beautiful choice of which maybe any of those choices might be, you know, good ones. So so even though he's what he's doing is going to make him shine, it's, yeah, yeah, the Two of Swords making a choice. Okay, exactly what I just said. And as the, but, but picking that card still isn't fulfilling to him considering where he will eventually be, but he's gonna shine in that job. Very interesting. So he must be a very ambitious uh, person. Let's do a uh, dyadic cross, which is six cards, just for uh, Prince Faza and see uh, where those uh, interpretations lead us. And um, in my head, I'm thinking about love. Uh, because work is determined, you know, and really it looks like probably love is determined too, but uh, we'll see with six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Prince Faza, what can the cards tell us for you? And six cards, and uh, we'll see where that goes. Signifier card for this reading is, look at this, the Ten of Swords really feeling trapped, 
okay? The thing about the Ten of Swords is that usually there's a way out. It's not immediately apparent to the person who feels trapped, um, but I can see where this is very appropriate for him. The signifier card of Prince Files right now is feeling trapped. Man, you cannot be anxious to move up the ladder when that involves displacing your father. Maybe that's okay in that, I don't know. So the, the challenge to this, uh, feeling trapped, is uh, oh, the hangman. Okay, so the hangman is looking at something from another perspective. So the challenge to feeling trapped, of course, is balancing out your emotions by looking at things from another perspective. You have to twist yourself around and and try to see you know how this thing uh, is looking from another way it's, it's difficult so uh signifier and the challenge uh, and then the base of the whole thing then is of course yeah the king of cups uh cups being emotions king being inside as you can get in, in that suit and uh and of course the baseline of all of this is the emotional um tearing apart within uh in waiting for that king role that you never really want to have probably. Um, the past of this, again, look at that. We left right off with that. We ended that other with the Page of Wands about uh, not having much say in the actions that you're taking. That will be in the past. And the sky of this reading, King of Coins, he will be one of the most valuable kings probably that region has ever seen. And then the final, look at this, and it finally comes back to the end result is that it was always having to walk away from your emotions and walk into the light of being responsible for your people. That's what it looks like to me. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Oh, say so, so. This is a grand or tarot grand lux, tarot grand lux, another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box. And uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read and it's, you know, handheld. And, you know, it's just another of uh, Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use. And they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards. But if you watch my channel, you do. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get to your energy all over the, all over them, and um, and so I don't know. I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, tarot grand lux. Some funny thing that I always want to say grand lux tarot, and um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going.